Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the MPU6050 accelerometer gyroscope sensor. This accelerometer here can measure acceleration in X, Y, and Z axis. And the gyroscope can measure angular velocity in all three axes. Similarly, this is a HMC5883 L magnetometer module. This can measure magnetic field direction or a heading direction. In this project, we will combine both these sensors to measure 3D angles properly. The 3D angle is called as pitch, roll, and yaw. This measurement is necessary in applications like drones, robotics, and navigation systems that require precise orientation tracking. The accelerometer and gyroscope is alone not enough to calculate these orientation data. Hence, we need to combine magnetometer data as well. This technology is called sensor fusion. Today, we will use the sensor fusion with ESP32 and calculate pitch, roll, and yaw. In order to improve the accuracy of reading, we will implement Kalman filter as well. I will show you how to write the calibration code and implement Kalman filter for very precise and accurate measurement. At the end, we will do the testing and display the values on OLED display. So, let's get started. So the components needed for this tutorial is ESP32 microcontroller. Then we need MPU6050 gyroscope accelerometer module. Then a HMC5883 L magnetometer. An OLED display is need to display the readings. Finally, some jumper wires and a breadboard. The question is, what do you mean by pitch, roll and yaw? Pitch, roll and yaw are terms used to describe the orientation or rotation of an object in three-dimensional space. Pitch refers to the rotation of an object about its x-axis, which results in a forward or backward tilt. It describes whether the object is tilting upward or downward. For example, when an airplane's nose rises or dips, it experiences pitch. Roll is the rotation of an object about its y-axis causing it to tilt side to side. This describes whether the object is tilting to the left or right. For instance, when a plane bangs to one side during a turn, it undergoes roll. Yaw refers to the rotation of an object about its z-axis, which results in a left or right turn. It describes the direction of the object is facing or turning horizontally. For example, when a car or drone changes its directions to the left or right, it experiences yaw. Sensor fusion combines the strength of these sensors to overcome their individual weaknesses. The gyroscope adds stability to the accelerometer readings, reducing noise and making pitch and roll calculations more accurate. At the same time, the accelerometer acts as a long-term reference to correct the gyroscope drift. For yaw, the magnetometer provides the main directional reference, while the gyroscope smooths out short-term changes and helps in areas where the magnetometer might face interference. For sensor fusion and measurements, first connect the MPU6050 and HMC5883L to the ESP32 microcontroller as shown here. Both are I2C module. Hence, we just require two wire for connection. For demonstration and testing, I used a breadboard as shown here. This is the code for sensor fusion with ESP32. I haven't used any library here. Rather, I am directly reading the data from the register value. This code calculates pitch and roll angles using data from the accelerometer and yaw using data from the magnetometer. In this code, calibration steps are included to improve accuracy by correcting sensor offsets and reducing the impact of environmental interference. In this line, you need to adjust the yaw using a declination angle. Replace this angle with your location values. To get the declination angle of your location, you may use the website magneticdeclination.com. From here, 
you will get the magnetic declination in degrees. You need to convert it into radians. For example, I am staying around Toronto, Canada, which has a declination angle of minus 10 degrees and 13 minutes. When this value is converted into a radian, I got the value as minus 0 0.1783. You can check yours. You can upload the code to the ESP32 board. Once the code is uploaded, you need to start the testing. The code has a calibration part. Hence, a small step is needed for calibration. For the MPU6050, keep the sensor stationary during calibration to ensure accurate offset values. For the HMC5883L, rotate the sensor in all directions during calibration to capture the full range of magnetic field's values. After calibration, Test the pitch, roll, and yaw outputs. Using this method, you can calculate the pitch, roll, and yaw. But I cannot guarantee you the data is correct. The accelerometer is good for determining long-term tilt angles based on gravity, but is noisy and affected by vibrations. The gyroscope provides precise angular velocity for detecting short-term changes but suffers from drift over time, leading to cumulative errors. Similarly, the magnetometer gives absolute yaw but is sensitive to magnetic interference. A Kalman filter is used to improve the accuracy of pitch, roll, and yaw measurements by combining data from accelerometers, gyroscopes, and magnetometers while accounting for their individual limitations. The Kalman filter fuses this data intelligently to produce smoother and more reliable orientation readings. The Kalman filter uses a mathematical model to predict the orientation based on gyroscope data and then corrects it using accelerometer and magnetometer readings. This process improves the overall accuracy and stability of pitch, roll, and yaw measurements. This code uses a Kalman filter to combine data from the gyroscope and accelerometer for calculating pitch and roll. As you can see in this line, we have assumed the Q angle and Q bias values along with R major. This line is the error covariance matrix. For this equation, we are applying Kalman filter for correcting the pitch and roll value. In this function, we have created a Kalman filter function to estimate the error. Kalman gain and the angle difference. All these data are combined and printed on serial screen. Upload this code again. Then open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will print 3D angle as pitch, roll, and yaw more accurately using the MPU6050 and HMC5883L. To make testing more visual, connect an OLED to ESP32 and display pitch, roll, and yaw values directly on the screen. This makes debugging easier and provides a real-time interface. It's easier to put everything on the breadboard as shown below. Upload the code below to the ESP32 board. After uploading the code, the OLED will show the sensor is calibrating. Then it will start displaying the pitch roll yaw values on the OLED screen. If the sensor is placed on a plane surface without moving in any direction, it shall show a very stable reading and almost the same value all the time. To observe the change in pitch, roll and yaw values, you need to rotate or tilt the MPU6050 and HMC5883L module in any direction. That's all from the tutorial part for pitch, roll, and yaw measurement. The written tutorial and quotes are given in the description link. If you have any question, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.